Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about Kale Polish's Spring Collection. Now I know this collection released back in April. I believe the date was April 12th and I purchased them that day. They took about a week to get here. And today is May 17th, so it's been almost exactly a month that I've had these polishes. And the reason that I waited so long was because I wanted to test them out on my nails and make sure that I could give you like a good review. And I took pictures with them on my nails over like the past month, so I have a picture of every single color. So anyway, let's talk about the polishes. So these guys retail for $8.50 and the spring collection was actually the first collection that I purchased. When I was ordering, they had a package deal where you could buy all six polishes for a little bit of a discounted price. And I also picked up these two colors, which I'm not going to really talk about that much, but I do want to just give them a shout out because these were like two of my favorite from the winter collection. I just never got around to purchasing those. This one is broccoli and chocolate and this one is caramello. Caramello is a lot more rich than I thought it was going to be. I do have one of my nails right now. This is St. Clair. I waited to put this one on last because this one was the one I was most excited to try but I have other periwinkle shades so I was like let me use that one last towards the end of my polish try-ons. I'm going to tell you guys about the colors and I'm going to tell you guys uh, how long they lasted on my nails and uh, just what I think of like the colors and all that kind of stuff. Again, these guys retail for $8.50. You get uh, 12 milliliters of product in your bottle. It appears to be like the same price as like a drugstore nail polish, like an SE. It's a little bit cheaper than OPI, I believe. They have really nice packaging. They're just square little bottles and I like this. It's very like simple, just like KL polish in a little box. The brush handle is, it's like the NARS packaging. That's how I would describe it, that matte velvety black. And the brush is similar to the, the Wet n Wild brushes, which are some of my favorites. It's a little bit thinner than the Wet n Wild brush though. So I like that because sometimes the Wet n Wild brushes are so thick that like I can't get it on my nail. But it's a shorter, thicker brush opposed to a long skinny brush like OPI. So I'm actually going to go in order of the polishes that I tried and I will pop pictures onto the screen as I go along so that you guys can just like see what they look like on me. So the first color that I tried out was this green one. This is called pistachio ice cream. Now when I look at this color I think like pea soup. I don't know, this whole collection has kind of like a muted pastel vibe to it. Like they're not super bright pastels except for this one's a little bit bright but all the rest of the colors and they're just like more muted tones. So I tried this color on my nails first and I immediately liked the formula. It wasn't thick, it wasn't goopy, but it wasn't super thin. I could get full opacity on the first coat if I wanted to. It would have to be a tiny bit thicker, but I always like to do a thin first coat and a thicker second coat. Just that's the way that I've always done my nails. Everybody has different preferences. So a quick little background tidbit about me and my nails. is My nail polish does not last more than two days. Usually a regular nail polish on me lasts two days. A gel polish doesn't even make it a week before it starts peeling. I don't know why. I don't use my hands that much. It's just like every time. And these polishes did last Last longer than two days so I mean I don't know that they're gonna last the same on everybody else uh, and for the amount of time that they lasted on me maybe that's not enough for the, for you but if my normal polishes only last two days and these lasted five days yes they did one of them actually lasted a whole week then I'm just just kind of like me giving you some statistics you know this color is like I said pistachio ice cream it's a really pretty green it was the first color I tried on my nails I liked the formula um, and I really liked the color it was really really pretty and it lasted on me for five days so I do have pictures to show you guys so this is what the first coat looked like as you can see it's got a lot of coverage um, but you can still see my nail through it a little bit just a little bit and then on the second coat as you can see it is very opaque my nails are very dry my hands are very dry I have really bad eczema day two they were also really good they looked really great after day number two after day number three I did have a little a little chip pop up but I had to do somebody's makeup for an event and when you're like digging your hands around in a makeup kit like you're always you're smashing your fingers into like products you know what I mean so this was what it looked like after that day and it's not that bad it's just a little chip on one of my fingers and this was um day number four I had another thing that I was working on uh, another makeup shoot and so this is what my hands look like afterwards they had chipped 
considerably. Again, this is day number four, but they still didn't look too terrible. I truly, truly believe that if I hadn't been like smashing my hands around as much that week, that they would have lasted longer. And I thought about like retrying the polish and not having to smash my hands around, but I was like, no, because human life leads you to smash your hands around. Like, you know, like if you use your hands a lot, this is, might be what happens to you. So I, I wanted to keep that as my like, first impression of the polishes because I just felt like if that's what I normally would do, then that's how my polish should wear that week. You know what I mean? So um, that was day number four. And uh, day number five, they did chip a tiny bit more. What happens is once you start chipping, it's easier to continue chipping because now, you know, you've got like a weak spot. So on the fifth day, I left them. And then on the sixth day, they look terrible on the sixth day because they... Obviously, they only lasted five days, so day number six was rough for me, but I took them off that day and I applied a new color, and yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised with how long the polish lasted on my nails. Uh, maybe five days isn't a lot for you, but for me, for me, that's a lot, that's a whole week. The second color that I tried was Kale Polish, that's what she said, and this is a metallic formula. And I believe this is her only metallic. Now, I've never had much good luck with metallic nail polishes. But I will say this one lasted roughly three days on my hand, so not too bad. Um, I've only used Essie metallic polishes, and those chip off, like, immediately, and they're super, super streaky. Now, I don't think that this one was super streaky, and this color is very unique. It's like a rose silver opposed to a rose gold. I did just two coats and a top coat, like I always do for all of the polishes, and I used the same top coat for everything. It's the um, Nicole by OPI Quick Dry Top Coat. This particular nail polish is really, really pretty. Like I said, it lasted three days. It's something different and I was super into it. I was, I just like kept staring at my nails. It was so beautiful. And even though it only lasted three days, that's still one more day longer than what I normally can wear. So for me, it was worth it. And for you, it might last like a, a whole week. I don't know. But this color is really, really awesome. The next one that I tried was Coconut Milk. And um, this color was really pretty and it lasted about five days as well. <sighs> you guys, this color. <laughs> This color is everything I ever looked for in a nail polish. It's a milky white, but it's not like milky see-through white. I don't know how to describe it, but a lot of times I go to purchase like a color like this and it's too milky and it's too sheer and it looks really bad on my nails. Unless I have to absolutely not have nail polish on, I do have it on. So my nails are very, very stained. And uh, normally when I wear a color like this, it's so sheer that you can see the staining through it and they kind of look yellow and gross and disgusting. But this had such good coverage that it hid all of that. And it really was just like a true milky white nail polish. I don't even know how it stayed milky because it like, it wasn't fully white, but it wasn't super sheer. And I don't know how she did it, but it's an amazing, amazing color. And I recommend this to anybody who's looking for one of these milky kind of colors. Me and my sister wear these all the time in like summer. And I might just have to like buy more because I'm going to totally run out of this. The next one that I tried was Miss Honey. So Miss Honey, sadly, only lasted like three days on me. And I don't know why. It's the same formula as everything else. It just, it just didn't last on my nails. See, for me, I don't wear nude polishes unless I'm specifically going to an event or doing something where I have to wear new nails. For example, when I was a nun in Sister Act, I had to have nude polish on my fingers because nuns don't have nail polish. So for me, that's the kind of thing that I would wear for the two days of a show and then and then take it off and put on a bright color or a dark color or whatever that I normally like to wear. So a nude isn't really something that I normally am drawn to. So the fact that it lasted three days for me, it's kind of okay because like I would never say like, oh, I'm going to do nude nails for a whole week. I don't think I did anything specifically hard with my hands that week or those three days. Like I don't feel like I did anything that kind of warranted them chipping that fast, but they did. They chipped after the first day and I took them all off and then I reapplied it and I thought like maybe I had done something wrong and I reapplied it and then it lasted three days. So, you know, uh, take with that what you will, but this is a really, really pretty color. It's like a muted, nudie melon kind of shade and so I really like this color and it's really pretty. I just don't see myself wearing it that much because it's not a me color and it did not last as long as some of the other shades in the line. Next we have Hug and Roll and this is a super pretty color. This is like a pastel, pale, Per I'm okay, it's supposed to be like a lavender, but on my nails it looks pink. To me it looked pink, but I loved it. 
I was obsessed with this color and this color lasted for seven days on my nails. Seven days. That is craziness to me. I've never had a polish last for an entire week. This color is very, very pretty. It's just like a light. Like I said, it's, like it's supposed to be lavender and it looks lavender in a lot of people's nails. But on me, it looks pink. Like a super pale, cool toned pink. So I, I really like this color and I will be wearing this again. It also had that kind of milky look to it that this one did and a lot of people thought they were very similar but when they're next to each other you can tell that this color is more white and this one is more purpley and on your nails they do not look the same at all not even close and our last color this is a kale polish saint claire it's a beautiful light periwinkle shade i've only had this on my nails for two days now this color the formula was the same as all of the other polishes it went on very nicely went on very smoothly it wasn't like super thick or goopy uh it dried quickly that's something great about these polishes they dry quickly um and yeah i, I don't have that much to say about it because like i said i just tried it on yesterday but it hasn't chipped i don't have a single chip on my nails right now so they are looking good. They are looking good. So yeah, I was definitely feeling this color. So these are all the colors that were in the Collection. I think it's a really pretty line. They all have these very beautiful muted tones to them, which I think is super pretty for springtime, except for the blue, which does have a little bit more brightness, but I'm into that. I am super into that. I'm excited to see what Kale Polish comes out with next. My review, my final thoughts are that these nail polishes are good nail polishes. So yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to say in this video. I think these polishes are 100% worth the money. I think you should pick them up if you guys are interested. Yeah, those are my final thoughts. Definitely check out Kale Polish if you have not already. I will leave a link to the website in the description box down below so that you guys can go and check out the website. If you guys are fans of Kale Polish, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what colors you guys have liked best, what form you like best yada 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 if you like this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos my name is Alexis and I'll see you next time